to balance this combustion reaction of glucose glucose plus oxygen that produce carbon dioxide water in the left hand side we have six carbon 12 hydrogen six oxygen in the here we have two more oxygen so add here two that gives you total eight in the right hand side carbon one oxygen is two then hydrogen 2 or here we have one more oxygen so totally we have three oxygen in the right hand side so start with the, since this is a combustion reaction try to balance the more electronegative oxygen atom at last try to balance carbon here 6 here 1 to balance carbon multiply here by 6 that gives you 6 if you multiply by something that something must come before the atom this carbon has come from here so this 6 will come as coefficient before this compound so now update the number of carbon and oxygen carbon is 6 already we have written oxygen is 6 times 2 12 so you need to change this oxygen number 12 12 plus here 1 13 okay now balance hydrogen here 12 here 2 to balance hydrogen must you need to multiply by 6 that gives you 12 if you multiply by something that something must come before the atom this hydrogen has come from here so place here 6 6 times 2 12 hydrogen and you need to change the number of oxygen here 6 so 12 plus 6 18 oxygen carbon 6 is, is balanced hydrogen here 12 here 12 hydrogen is balanced but oxygen is not balanced here 8 here 18 so look this 6 oxygen has come from here so will not change this number of oxygen because this oxygen is in is in is in a chaos right but this oxygen is in free state so will change the coefficient of this oxygen to make it 18 so to make this number 18 so 6 is from here so we have to multiply this number of oxygen by something that gives me 18 if i multiply here by 6 6 times 2 12 plus 6 18 that is if you multiply by something that something must come before the atom this oxygen has come from here so you have to place here 6 6 times 2 12 12 plus 6 18 now look 18 18 12 12 6 is everything is balanced so we can say that this is the balanced chemical equation